You know, we all have to get our hair cut, okay? Even if you have short hair, long hair, whatever, it's so important to have a good relationship with your hairstylist. So we have Sandy Hoyt here from John, from John Roberts Spa, and Mia, thank you for joining on the show. We're going to talk about this important relationship. Now, I have to say, tell me if I'm not correct, does it kind of feel like a th you're a therapist? I mean, first of all, yes. <laughs> when I'm sitting there and I have somebody's fingers going through my hair and they're, they're pulling my ear back, you know, or they're shaving my neck, it's kind of an intimate thing to do. It's vulnerable. But over time, you learn to trust the person. Yes, definitely. You build that relationship with someone and you end up knowing their ins and outs of their personal life, their professional life. You build a great relationship. They're part of your family. You end up, you know, enjoying hearing their stories. You miss them when you don't see them for a while. Right. You talk to them on your time off. Sure. You build a great relationship. Sure. And so I don't know if you see them outside of the salon, but each time they come in, I'm sure they're updating you on their on your life, their life, and you probably share some of your life. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So what are some tips that you can give people to build this relationship? You know, they come in, they have an idea of what they want their hair hair is so important. You know how important. If, I, if your hair looks good, everything else looks good. You feel good. If your hair <laughs> looks bad, forget. Right. Okay. So how can you give people tips on how to build this trusting relationship about hair? The biggest thing, I think, when you're coming into a new salon, um, at John Roberts, we, we really focus on our consultations. We've got to make sure that you are understanding what that guest wants. Um, coming in and seeing a stylist that is new to you, have pictures. Okay. Under, you know, know whether or not you're updating your look or if you're maintaining your look. Understand what your hair is. Make sure that, you know, if you're looking for, you know, something that is low maintenance, that if your hair is curly, you're not looking for a straight look and you don't want to put the time in for right, it. Right, right. So make sure that you understand. So be clear about what it is you want coming yes. through the door. Yes. Now what happens, because this has happened to me, where they're cutting your hair and you're looking at yourself, you're going, I'm hating it. But I don't know what to say to them. So I say, oh, it looks good. And I walk out and I think, I hate it. How do you get, how do you be say honest. that to a, be, be honest. It's all in the delivery though, right? You can't oh, be sitting right. there going, oh, I hate it. Probably isn't. As, right. As a stylist though, we are trained as far, you've got to look at your, you know, your client's body position, your client's uh, mood in their face. You know, you can, a lot of times when you know your client, you can read it. You can definitely read it, but a client definitely needs to know that, to be honest, it hurts more as a stylist to know that you're walking around for the next eight weeks not loving your hair than if you would have just said, you know what, I want this changed a little bit, let's do that and make you happy. So Mia, have you ever had this happen to you where you've had to actually say in the chair, I, I, I think we need to do something different? I have. Okay. I have Did it lot. go over very well? Yeah, because they okay. completely understand. They're used to it. It's what they do every day, so it's easy okay, for great. them to go ahead and modify it right then it's a lot worse to leave and feel miserable oh, and then awful? and then you feel even worse calling and saying that you don't like it and having to come back in it, it would be better just well, to say it right then well, and there okay I've done this where I've gone to somebody they did my hair I hated it so then I switched salons okay so now these people are starting fresh and they do something I hate it even more it's not good mm -hmm. so if you would like to find a stylist who can really build a relationship with you and build trust you probably want to give John Roberts a call and you can get a hold of them at 216-83 or go log on to johnrobertsspa.com. Thank you yeah. for being here. Thank stay, you. Stay tuned. We have more of Can You Relate coming up next.